So the mineral oil PC is now finished, uh, it's all up and running, but there's uh, no cooling on it at all, if you can see, all the way around. Uh, it still needs to have a, um, a pump, which I'm going to put in the bottom underneath the power supply. Uh, the power supply is dropped in the oil, because it's too lazy to secure it with this aluminium plate which is going to be a screw there and a screw over there just to hold the power supply in because you really don't want to have the wires in the oil uh, eventually <coughs> that oil will sleep and um, wick its way up, uh, up the wire and you'll just have a pool so you really want to keep the wires out the oil um, so, so yeah, it's uh, going to put a pump in there with a tube leading up here. Uh, this will run into a radiator which will be on the back. Uh, the drilling hole there, the inlet tube going into the radiator. Outlet coming over this side which will uh, feed straight back into the tank again. And that's pretty much completely finished then. But uh, for now, let's just see what sort of temperatures we get with no cooling uh, whatsoever. So, yeah, obviously, you know, the fans can turn, but uh, there's no air cooling going on. So this is completely passively cooled. So um, let's just... There's a heat gun. Right now it's at 26.8 centigrade, that is. Just try the front. Yeah, all around 27. Um, to give you some idea, that is a fresh cup of tea. Just done. Which is 62. That's just dropped actually since I've been doing this. It was 70. To start with so yeah you know a hot fresh cup of tea is 70 degrees centigrade so you know really don't I don't really want to be going anywhere too close to 60 having hot oil in that because this case uh, if you can see the side there is only two mil thick so it's only two mil of perspex holding all that oil in so you know I don't want really hot oil uh, cracking right through the case so let's turn it on and start looking at some temperatures so starting temperatures on uh, MSI afterburner we've got there 31 for the GPU uh, on speed fan we've got uh, Got the uh, CPUs at 30, motherboard 28, GPU 31, same as MSI. <laughs> Fan speed there, just 240 RPM. Uh, so there are the starting temperatures. So yeah, with no cooling at all, uh, I'll upgrade uh, every hour. Bearing in mind, as a minute, we're in a little bit of a mini heat wave uh, where I am. So uh, it's very hot, just generally. So also worth bearing that in mind as well. Okay, so it's now one hour in. I've uh, just been having a look on Amazon, eBay, bit of Google. Uh, let's have a look at the temperatures. 39. Uh, CPU 39, uh, graphics card still 39. So for the next hour, I think I'll pop Tomb Raider on. Uh, if you're wondering, this will uh, you know help uh, stress the graphics card to pretty much max capacity. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not using Prime 95 and Firmark. Uh, I mean, I already know that this system's not going to be stable uh, for like any 
major length of time you certainly couldn't uh, stress test it overnight uh, this is uh, purely just to see in practical real world terms uh, how long you can use it for each night uh, with uh, no cooling other than just the mineral oil itself so yeah, pop that on right that's just over uh, one hour now uh, I'm stuck again so good time to quit and check the temperatures I'll start up to 54 now for the graphics card and yeah those temperatures are shot right up now so CPU is just dropped off to 54 graphics card uh, 53 motherboard 51 uh, so yeah I was playing that for about an hour and 10 an hour and 15 minutes so it's been almost two and a half hours since I uh, first switched it on now even though those temperatures are starting to rise I'm not too fussed uh, about the hardware the uh, the TDP for the processor is um, 70 degrees centigrade it's probably similar for the graphics card might even be a little bit higher um, and the motherboard temps you know low 50s uh, it sounds a lot but if you've ever reflowed uh, a motherboard in a laptop you know if you've stuck uh, your motherboard in the oven you'll know they can persist to quite high temperatures so uh, the hardware is not too much of a concern what bothering, bothers me is the oil so let's take a look at uh, 46 let's take a look on the front 47 temperature of the oil itself is now 51 so yeah there's a little bit more room so I might try up to close on another hour maybe 40 minutes just to take it up to the 3 hour mark so as uh, soon as it approaches 60 it'll be uh, switched off so I'll see how long it takes to get there right so that's dead on the three hour mark now I've just been looking at uh, YouTube vids for about 40 minutes or so so uh, let me just check the temperatures uh, 54 for the GPU according to uh, Afterburner and the same according to Speedfan CPU 55 motherboard 52 and uh, let's check the temperature of the case 47 temperature on the oil <coughs> is 53 so yeah, it's getting pretty close to uh, where I think it's time to switch it off. But uh, so yeah, you can get around three hours cooling. Uh, if you're wondering what specs are in, I've put them, you know, below the uh, the video, uh, just to give you some idea. But yeah, with them specs, you can. Um, keep the PC on for about three hours before the temperatures started to get wet to the point where you probably want to switch it off uh, so yeah if you've been looking around uh, thinking of doing this you've uh, you might have come across some sites where people have done this before you might have, if you've checked on Wikipedia you can see uh, liquid submersion cooling but even on Wikipedia they're suggesting that uh, the mineral oil will be enough to passively cool uh, a personal computer but that really that's kind of out of date because um, you know if you've got the sort of tech that you want now and this is uh, you know it's not like there's a 7970 graphics card in here it's uh, it's fairly powerful but you know it's not massively so um, but there's no way that uh, the mineral oil is going to passively cool this system 
uh, that temperature is just going to keep on rising and rising. So yeah, if you've uh, been looking online to see uh, how to do this, uh, you've probably come across quite a few people who've uh, who've done this uh, and said that uh, it was uh, the mineral ore was enough to passively cool the system, but. You know, really, that you're looking at uh, people who were doing this originally, uh, maybe five, six years ago, uh, and even at the time then, they weren't putting in um, the components that were like top of the range at that time. Uh, maybe what I think Core Two Duo. Um, they were using old components to test it, so you know, you could be looking at components from say. Uh, 10 years back um, which if you had um, just say a Pentium 4 2.8 processor in this system and nothing else no graphics card nothing then uh, yeah that might be enough to call the system the other thing as well people were putting these in massive tubs with loads of surface area to help to uh, dissipate the heat um, now obviously this is a very small system, you could make one much bigger. But yeah, so if you um, you know, if you want to build any sort of uh, halfway decent powerful system, you know, definitely if you're going to have a graphics card in there as well, then really, you know, you're going to need some, some way to cool the oil. Definitely. So, how do you cool the system? Well, uh, first one thing worth maybe mentioning is uh, when the oil gets hot, it uh, the viscosity de uh, decreases. So um, that's almost like water now. That is very very hot. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's almost like water. So when you do put a pump in, you know as the temperature rises, it shouldn't have too much problem with the, uh, the oil flowing through the pump. So yeah, you might be thinking, well, if I've got to add a water cooling loop to this system, you know, what's the point in having a water cooling loop and mineral oil? Well, if you're just looking purely for performance, then go with a water cooled loop every time. Yeah, so really when it comes to cost, as I say, you only need half the water cooling loop. So you're going to have a pump in the base here. That'll feed through to the radiator. Now you don't need to buy a reservoir because, well, the PC itself is the reservoir. So, you know, all this liquid is going to feed through into the pump. Uh, so, you know, there's no need to buy the reservoir. And then, as for the water blocks cooling the... Um, CPU or the GPU you basically you know you you're cooling everything so you're cooling the processor the graphics card the motherboard the hard drive it's almost like every component has got a water block on it um, so if you've seen the price of uh, just a CPU water block alone is uh, quite pricey so if you wanted to put one on the graphics card as well you know, that's also quite pricey as well. So even though mineral oil is pretty expensive, if you can find that the mineral oil works out cheaper than buying a reservoir, a CPU water block and GPU water block, you've still effectively got your whole water cooling loop running around. Um, and as I say, the tank is a reservoir and the oil itself for the water blocks so you know all in all I think it could work out cheaper than uh, than having um, a traditional water cooling loop in your system uh, and once it's up and running you know people might argue but you know I think it looks quite good uh, it's definitely different you definitely get a few comments when people see it so uh, all in all, that's just about it.